So I think one area of mutual agreement and priority is vegetation management. But I think we want to work with you to really recognize the changing climate and what it means to our forests and actually work together with that science. That science is going to be key because if we, if we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay. It'll start getting cooler. I you, wish, just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The science does agree with him, just not your politically driven and grant money fueled paradigm foundation. Your state is on fire because you have the worst management program that leaves absurd amount of fuel waiting to burn on a ground that is prone to drought. The actual science says that we can have the best of both worlds. We can accomplish our environmental aspirations, protecting our soil, water, and air, our planet. And we can also make sure we get the science correct so a cosmic level irony doesn't sneak up on us. The heat transport in the oceans is where we'll begin. It can be disrupted by desalinization and that is ongoing with the cold freshwater melt from the poles. Those engines have already begun to change and it's a built-in protection mechanism for earth that guards against the extremes. Just as a snowball earth freezes the moisture out of the air and a cloudless earth is guaranteed to get warmer. When you unlock the ice from the poles, you shut down much of what is needed to send that warmth to higher latitudes. When it comes to the last 150 years, the warming we've seen is about one degree, but half of the Arctic warming, or a third of all global warming, is due to ozone loss at the polar region. Earth's magnetic field weakening is a significant cause of proton destruction of that layer. The major climate advancement so far in 2020 has been a revolutionary flood of papers describing bias in climate models and error propagation, with paleoclimate data suggesting the models are way too sensitive to CO2, and the more they study the development and effect of clouds, the more uncertainty they claim exists. In reality, the weakening magnetic field of Earth has allowed even more particles than it usually would into the Earth the last few decades. The grand solar maximum of the Holocene appears to be what we've just had, for the bulk of the 1900s and into the new millennium. Lagged effects out of the ocean are expected to be up to 20 years. Amazingly, at this same time, we have seen volcanic cooling drop to the lowest levels in hundreds of years, if not more than a thousand. These coinciding factors are the cause of the global warming of one degree, which is absolutely nothing when compared to the natural cycle dive we're about to take, the Ice Age cycle. Nothing about Earth's atmospheric chemistry is going to overcome this. Even the scariest climate models, which we've mentioned already, were proven this year to be overkill, are dwarfed by the Ice Age dip of 10 degrees and much more at higher latitudes. When the top climate scientists, who are no longer utterly dependent on global warming grant funding that supports a narrative, began coming out like this, and like Dr. Happer from Princeton, who created some of the first climate models, take their admissions to heart. The certainty to which you cling was actually uncertain. It was hidden and understated. The money you gave drove the science, not the other way around. The grunts doing the work, including some of my friends from undergrad who had advanced in these fields, were told to get in line or get a new career. And when the math started stacking up in the journals, in solar climate forcing circles, and for those who knew that the mainstream news is a theater, a cacophony of nonsense, the Congressional Committee indeed tried to take down the top channels promoting these topics, including this one. That scandal, much more about everything I just mentioned, and a full explanation of how the sun is an even greater player in climate change, and even individual storms, is in our climate playlist. Watch it at the link in the description box below the video, and on our channel homepage. Just click my name. What can I say? He's right. It'll start getting cooler. <laughs> I you wish. Just, you just watch.